Can you believe this one simple line of code can be improved and made to work 2.5 times faster? This small change here made my block based survival game Planetsmith run way faster. But why? This function is taking an index position inside a chunk and converting it into XYZ coordinates. The index is a linear way we can look at our chunk. To compute an index from a chunk position, we take its X plus its Y coordinate multiplied by chunk size plus its Z coordinate multiplied by the chunk size squared. In the function, we're setting x equal to the remainder of the index divided by chunk size, y is equal to the remainder of the index divided by chunk size floored divided by the chunk size, and finally z is the index divided by the chunk area floored. You'd expect this to be quite fast, which it is, but we can make it 2.5 times faster. Quick announcement, to celebrate New Zealand Games Week, we're having a playtest starting on September the 22nd. If you'd like to take part, head over to our Steam page to register. Imagine we set this chunk size to 10. Our equation for the index would be index equals x plus y times 10 plus z times 100. Now, if I told you the index was 529, can you tell me its x, y, and z coordinates without doing any calculations? Well, yes. Because we chose a chunk size that is the same as our base 10 counting system, we can simply read the digit x equals 9, y equals 2, and z equals 5. Easy! Can we do the same with our function and just grab the number. In theory, we could convert our number to a string, then grab the digits and convert back to our coordinates. However, this wouldn't make our function faster. It would make it way, way slower. Instead, we can do the same trick, but using our computer's binary counting system, base two. We set the chunk size equal to 16, which is a one followed by four zeros in binary. It's exactly the size of half a byte, called a nibble, made up of four bits. So the index becomes x plus y times 16 plus z times 256. This makes the first four bits our x value and the next four are our y value, and the four after that our z value. Like how we could just look at the number with the base 10 example, the computer can do the same thing and grab the data with no calculations needed. We just need to do some bit operations to copy the data across. Let's do a work through example with the index 2869, which in binary is four zeros, one zero, one one, zero zero, one one, zero one, zero one. To get the first nibble, we can use x equals index and zero xf. Zero xf is a hexadecimal number and is equal to 15. It has the bits, 12 zeros followed by four ones. With the bytewise AND, if both bits are one, it outputs one. If either bit is zero, then it outputs zero. This strips the first four bits from the index, giving us x equals five. Checking against our original function, 2869, when you take the remainder when divided by 16, you get five. Next, we bit shift the index four places to the right using this operator. This puts our Y value as the last four bits and we can use AND0XF to read that like before 
getting y equals 3. Finally, we can bit shift to the right 8 to get the z value of 11. Bit operations are blisteringly fast, so that's how this one line of code being improved has led to a 2.5 times speed increase and a big performance boost for my game. Hey, if you made it all the way to the end, can you help us out by wishlisting Planet Smith on Steam? And don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube for more mini logs and full devlogs.